Hi. Welcome back, guys. I'm Josh. I'm Ensley. Who are you? That's it. <laughs> and what are we doing today? Uh, today, we're going to make this strawberry a planter. I have a spider plant, and we're going to plant it in this planter. So what we have is a cookie jar that's like a strawberry and our lid broke on it so we don't really use it. Also we don't eat a ton of cookies so we don't necessarily need a cookie jar full of cookies just sitting around. And when she came home with this little plant, Mrs. Citystad had a great idea that we could use this as a planter somehow and plant these spider plants on top and it'll actually grow like the uh, top of a strawberry. So. Today, we're going to attempt to turn it into a planter and we're going to show you guys how we're going to do it. Mm -hmm. Alright E, what is our first step to making this into a planter? Well, we need to go, go outside and fill it with dirt. So before we get started, we need to get some supplies. We got our plant. Mm -hmm. What else do we got? A planter. What do we got here? Rocks. We got a little bit of pea gravel. And we'll show you why we have that. And what else do we have over there? That. Dirt. All right. And of course, we need a shovel. And we have a dibber. Mm-hmm. Well, we're going to use the pea gravel and put it in the bottom of our planter so that it can help drain out the water since there's no drain holes in the bottom of this. That's right. This container has no drain holes, and I'm not sure if we can actually drill something through the bottom of it so in order to alleviate some of the water in the soil we're going to put a bunch of pea gravel at the bottom to get that water somewhere to go that's not staying sticking in the soil molding out our soil so first off you want to fill that up with the pea gravel uh-huh all right Everett, you want to help All right, so you've seen the kids, they put the pea gravel down at the bottom of this. Yep. And that's really going to help, just water's going to go down there and it'll be able to sit and hopefully the roots will get down there and it'll absorb it up when it needs it. Uh, just worried about standing water in the soil, molding it out. So this is kind of our little solution to that. So next step would be... Put the dirt in. That's right, we got to fill it with dirt. So because of the way we're going to plant this plant, we got to plant this, fill this all the way to the top with dirt. Yep. All right, you ready? Uh-huh. Get filling, kids. I want a shovel. Okay. Here's a shovel. Okay. You're welcome. This is where it's a good part to be the dad because I don't have to do any of the work. Excuse me. <laughs> Filled our planter up with dirt, and now we're gonna use the dimmer to put a hole in there so we can put my plant in. Everett, can you put the hole in there? Now, if you guys aren't familiar with a dibber, it is a tool for planting starts or seeds, and we actually made a video about it. I'll put a link to it right up there. You guys can check it out. Learn about a dibber. And this is a handmade dipper that we got from a friend of ours who was yeah. making these on his lathe, made quite a few of them, and we were one of the first people to get one, so we were pretty happy and excited about it. A good hole. You gotta go a little more in the middle. Right there. There you go. 
Perfect. Yeah. All right. Now we can put the plant in. Yeah. Should we get the leaves up? I gotta push a little of that dirt around it. Alright, now we have a cool strawberry planter with the spider plant. Mm -hmm. now, what do you think of that? Is it cool? Yeah. So now when this gets a little bit bigger, it'll actually green over the whole top of the strawberry planter and I think it's going to look pretty neat. That's a pretty good idea that Ma came up with, wasn't it? Yeah. If you like this little craft project, um, leave a comment down below and let me know what you, if you want to see more. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel and give us a thumbs up.